The government of Canada is urging Canadians not to travel to Florida and the Bahamas as Hurricane Dorian continues to wreak havoc in the Caribbean. Read more Category 5 Hurricane Dorian forces flight cancellations. Airport closures story continues below in advisories issued Sunday. The government urged Canadians to avoid all travel to the east coast of Florida, from north of Deerfield Beach to the mouth of the St. Mary's River, and to the northwestern Bahamas. The decision to travel is your choice and you are responsible for your personal safety abroad, the advisory reads. We take the safety and security of Canadians abroad very seriously, in a tweet posted Monday afternoon. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said Canadians are thinking of all those in the Bahamas impacted by Hurricane Dorian's destruction. Canadians are thinking of all those in the Bahamas impacted by Hurricane Dorian's destruction. We're ready to provide support if needed. And I urge everyone still in the storm's path to stay safe. https colon slash slash t dot c o slash p g h x 62 t r 3 b justin trudeau a justin trudeau september 2nd 2019 were ready to provide support if needed he wrote and i urge everyone still in the storm's path to stay safe or from fort lauderdale florida until it is safe to resume flying in a post on its website westjet said customers flying from fort lauderdale orlando fort myers tampa and nassau are covered under the airline's flexible change cancel policy until sept 3. Air Canada, in an update posted to its website on Friday, said the airline has implemented a policy that makes it possible for some customers with reservations affected by Hurricane Dorian to make voluntary changes to their itinerary. Read more. 5 Dead After Hurricane Dorian Causes Massive Flooding in Bahamas Dorian made landfall Sunday evening as a Category 5 hurricane in the northern Bahamas and continued its relentless assault into Monday morning. 0 a.m. EDT Tropical Cyclone Update. The next full advisory will be out within the hour at https colon slash slash t dot c o slash t w four keva o g b pig dot twitter dot com slash double three and ninety three National Hurricane Center at NHC underscore Atlantic September second, twenty nineteen by ten AM. On Monday, Dorian was sitting over at Bahama Islands, causing extremely dangerous winds and surge, according to the National Hurricane Center. The storm shredded roofs, tumbled cars and toppled power poles in its wake. Watch, Bahamas hammered by wind, rain and storm surge as Hurricane Dorian makes landfall. These hazards will continue over at Bahama Island during most of the day, causing extreme destruction on the island, the update reads. The storm's top sustained winds decreased slightly to 265 km per hour as its westward movement slowed, crawling along at Bahama Island Monday morning at 1.6 km per hour. Read more, live hurricane Dorian floods Bahamas while coastal U.S. Watchers, waits earlier, Dorian churned over Abaco Island with battering winds and surf on Sunday. Forecasters say the storm is most likely going to move from the Bahamas Tuesday morning and will curve to the northeast, parallel the U.S. Seaboard. Watch, Bahamas batted, millions of Americans brace for Hurricane Dorian still, the potent storm was expected to stay close to shore and hammer the coast with dangerous winds and heavy surf, while authorities cautioned that it could still make landfall, with files from the Associated Press Let's Block ads. Why?